What's up, Nuggets? I just finished doing a rant video. Not really a rant, but uh, about American Airlines. Um, and how awful they were. Oh, shit, I need to clean that piece of dog hair right there. Um, uh, American Airlines, how awful they are. And uh, so it put me, kind of got me angsty. So I wanted to talk about another company. Um, and this one I'm probably more angsty because I was such admirers of them for so long. Netflix, okay? So we're in the golden age of television, I think, with amazing stuff. Netflix I have been in love with for years now. I mean, since bef before the streaming, even just their whole model of sending out the, I, the, the discs. I thought they were a great idea, good business model. They moved into streaming. They became their own studio, effectively. I don't quite know the ins and outs. They started making really good programs and buying up programs and... I'm like, this is incredible. We're paying, I think it's $15 a month now. But it, you, at the time, I think I was paying $9 a month or something. And it blew my mind. I was like, this is so good. Oh, my God. Look what they're doing for television. That started to change. Okay. So there's a couple of things. And it's interesting. I don't know exactly why. I have some theories. But I don't know exactly why they've changed. But so here's a couple of the things that I've noticed happen. Is One is... It used to feel like their model was, let's produce a ton of content that reaches a mass demographic, right? So select even, even unusual things that you can't find anywhere else, and we'll put it all on our system, on our platform, so we'll, we'll gather people from everywhere else, from all over the place, because we need customers. So we're customer-focused, right? I'm sure they are still customer focused, but it doesn't feel like they are as much because they've started to make choices that ruin your experience, but sell the product well, right? So let me give you an example, which they never used to. Let me give you an example. One is, and this has been around for like three years now, one is the autoplay trailers, right? So, and you, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. But basically, if you're flicking through Netflix, one of the first things you do is you pick up the mute button and you turn it. You mute your television. Because it just plays instantly, right? And there's no way to turn it off. And I read an interview or, or a statement or, a, or an article, so it's hearsay, so maybe this isn't accurate, but that talked about the fact that it's been there for three years and people complain about it all the time and they haven't changed it. And the reason they haven't changed it is they don't care because... The numbers underneath suggest that people are more likely to watch that program that is auto-playing than they are to keep surfing, and they want people watching, I guess. I don't know why that makes a difference, if people are paying their monthly, but whatever. They want people watching and not surfing through the front end, and they have decided that auto-playing trailers will uh, stop people surfing through the front end, and they'll pick something more quickly, and they'll get into watching. The end result is that the user experience is worse. Now, there are, I'm sure there are people out there who like the trailers, you know. And I found stuff. Here's the thing. It's annoying I'm saying this. But I have found stuff because of the auto play trailer. But I would still like a button that turns it off. Honestly, I just... I wouldn't even care if it... You know, I would care if it reset. I just want a button to turn it off. I don't see why I can't have that setting. That it auto-mutes, you know, if they need it to play or whatever. But something that just says... Or, or at least set a new volume level for it you know whether it's not mute maybe it's rather than being at the full volume it's a half volume so it doesn't fucking freak you out every time it comes on so there's one change that is not customer focused it is focused on it changes our experience for the negative and it helps their bottom line in some bizarre way they figured out this is better for them um, the second way in which they've proven that they don't care about the customers much is their trailers their trailers now, a lot of them, and I mean a lot, we have a policy in our house that when we're surfing through things and we watch trailers to see if we want to watch that whole thing, don't watch the Netflix trailer. Or be ready to stop it. Because their trailers give away the entire plot. They just don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Because there's obviously enough people out there who don't care that they figured out, oh, the, the protagonist who faces this absolute massive crisis you know, in episode four of this season, we're going to show episode, bits of episode five. We're going to show him after that event so you know he's not dead. And they do it all the time. They're going to just reveal the whole story. We've said they're on Reddit and stuff like that. There's people linking trailers all the time saying, why are they doing this? They just gave away the whole plot. The reason they do it is they don't care about whether it ruins the show for you. That trailer and this method has been proven to get people watching, 
right? So they don't care about your experience, it's just the numbers. It's very annoying. It's, it, it feels really disrespectful. <laughs> it's personal, I'm sorry to take it so personally. But it does, it feels like they just don't give a fuck about you. Like, I don't care, I don't care what you think of ruining it. And not just the trailers, but also they'll do things that, actually they all do this, HBO does this as well, where you'll be watching the episode and you're like, I wonder how many episodes this is. We do this all the time, especially if we're enjoying something. We're like, we're on episode four. Is this a six or a nine or a 12? So we'll briefly look at the episode guide just to see. Well, don't do that. Because if you look at the episode guide, sometimes they will give away all of the information, right? So what was it we were watching? I think it was Unbelievable or something like that. Um, it was unbelievable. But the, anyway, whatever it was we were watching, one of the heroes, one of the characters in it, the episode ended with her possibly about to die and then before it went to the next episode it showed us a screenshot of the episode that was coming up where she's in a different costume and completely alive it ruined it for us oh okay well i guess she doesn't die oh and the episode that came afterwards incidentally you didn't find out that she didn't die right away so it's not like it was the first shot of the next episode but they don't care they don't care it is possible it's just negligence and they haven't noticed that they're doing it, but I don't see how. Surely someone is, I mean, they're a big company, they're earning a lot of money. I just don't think that they care as much anymore, you know. So whenever I have had Netflix sending me an email saying, hey, we're raising our prices by a dollar a month, I have always been, I don't care. I think you're worth way more than you're charging anyway, so I'm up for it. Sorry, I hope they don't listen to this and put the prices up. But I, I think they're really worth it. I think they're very, very good value for money. You know, so I've been fine. But it's just starting to taint that a little bit for me. I'm just like, no, I don't know. Are we getting a monopoly here? Is there a problem here? I think there might be a problem here. Because if I, we don't have network television anymore, right? We don't have, we only have streaming. Um, I don't know what we would do without Netflix. I mean, we'd watch less television and we would be a healthier, brighter, more intelligent family. But as far as television is concerned, Without Netflix, hmm, we'd have Hulu, which are not a great company, and, you know, they're okay, they do some good stuff. We have HBO, which is still fantastic, but they just got bought by Warner Brothers, so they might start tanking a little bit. Maybe that happened a few years ago, and we're okay, anyway. And then there's Showtime, and there's all these other stuff, but Netflix is our primary go-to, it really is. Actually, our primary go-to is PBS. That's what we watch more than anything, because it's amazing. And if you're not watching, if you're wondering where to get your news, stop watching all of that shit. Watch PBS. It's so good. It's a really good news service. Everything on PBS is amazing. It should be mandatory viewing for everyone. I wish it was more supported in this country. I really do. It's, it's an amazing source for education, entertainment, news, everything. Anyway, PBS. Um, but other than that, it's Netflix, right? So that's a monopoly. You know, and they've earned it. It's not like, you know, it's, it's like Microsoft. They've, they've, they've earned the place they've got to. It's a great product, but it's just starting to see, I'm starting to see some cracks. And I'm starting to see the co content quality really start to go down. There's, some, there's still some amazing stuff, but they green light everything. So there's some awful stuff on there. Some genuinely, like, I don't know, stuff that makes me angry. I'm like, why can't I sell something? <laughs> My stuff is way better than this. But, you know, it's all about the pitch. My wife's grandma used to say, if you can sell, you can do anything. That's all that matters. And I can't sell, apparently. Um, all right, that's it. Netflix. Sort your shit out, Netflix. Don't lose it, man. You golden age of television. You were right there at the top. You are the best thing that's on television right now. This company is amazing. Letting artists work. And it's just, there's some cracks. Fix it now. Fix it now where you can just do cosmetic fixes. You don't have to knock out the whole wall and rebuild. All right, Nuggets. Bye.